Greetings, YouTube. Why would you spend $2,000 on a rainbow vacuum? Let's talk a little bit about that. As always, give this video a thumbs up. And I want to thank our Patreon supporters for helping us make great content. And they continue to help us make uh, better content. So if you want to see more of us and want to see uh, 4K videos and the channel get a little bit better, definitely go donate there. Even $5 a month helps. So, this is one of the newer Rainbows. It's got a two-speed brushless motor. We'll talk a little bit about its mechanical separation uh, and how it works. So the idea of a Rainbow, uh, or Rex Air, as some of the older ones were called, is basically you use water. And this started at the World's Fair, and the original rainbows were dry, and the guy next to him in the booth, of course, as it always happened to the World's Fair, uh, said, oh, why don't you put water in it? And hence the Rex Air was born. Um, and you can see all the minge in here. It is quite nasty. And this is the demo that's given to people. This is the same concept Dyson and other companies have proven. If you can see the dirt, it really, really helps people uh, to understand what their vacuum cleaner is doing. A lot of people, when they just have a bag, don't understand uh, what their vacuum cleaner is doing. And this is one of the few bagless cleaners that actually cleans very, very well. That being said, there is a HEPA filter under this piece of foam that you change annually. Now, what is in here is a separator, and basically this spins very, very fast. Uh, and helps keep water out of it. In fact, this is completely dry even if you turn it upside down, which I'm not going to do while it's running because I'll just be a putz and spill water everywhere. Um, so here's what's inside it, and you have to clean this out occasionally, and they give you this little toothbrush, but really you want to stick this in the dishwasher occasionally. And then you have your, your fan right there. So... What's also cool about this is that it's not going to turn on because there's a safety switch down here. Put some of this minge back in here. And we're going to put this on here. Now, this machine also comes with this uh, unicorn horn that seems to fit right here. In particular, and this red light is an indicator if the power head doesn't work properly. Um, so we are going to just put, and you'll see something very particular about this. You have this little flap, so we got to push up. Now you don't get crush-proof hosing, and that's very, very strange. And until about a year or two ago, you still had a rubber belt. Um, and then this is also going to come with. This nice premium bare floor tool, but it's still nothing special. Um, and until recently, you had pigtails to deal with, and they, of course, have now gone to direct connect like the rest of the industry. So you have a two-piece wand with a quick release here. And these wands are interchangeable. And, all right, they're stainless steel. They're nothing, again, nothing special there. But what is special is the power brush. And you're going to ask, why is this power brush so narrow? Because they have these gears that turn these side brushes. And these side brushes actually do a good job agitating. I was really surprised by that. Um, give you an idea what that looks like. If you turn it by hand, you can see these bristles turning. Um, and also, new for this particular model was the swivel neck. Uh, and the nice LED lighting. You gotta love the LED lighting. Um, so, oh, one other thing in particular is this. This is a uh, vent that opens up on the side. If I can get it to open up, it is stiff as can be. We're not gonna do it. But that bleeds suction out. And then you have your power brush on. And you can lock the power brush on, but there's a dead man switch on the power brush. Very strange. So let's fire her up real quick. So you can the switch on the power brush. Basically, that or you lock 
So that's basically what you get when you get a rainbow. Now some of these came with a, uh, a uh, wet pickup tool or a, um, a carpet shampooer as well. But that's basically what you got. Uh, now if I put the particle counter to this, it would be very low. This does not actually produce a whole lot of stuff because it has a HEPA filter. The units that were made before they had HEPA filters, of course, did horrible because water's really not a great filtration medium. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's kind of the new rainbow and what it looks like. And uh, you don't get a cord reel either for that for that money. You have to manually wind your cord, uh, which is kind of ridiculous as well. It would make it heavier. If, because of putting a gallon of water in the machine doesn't make it heavy enough. <laughs> um, anyways, so as always, please like, subscribe, and thumbs up our video. And if you want to help us make better quality. Uh, content, definitely donate on Patreon.
Greetings YouTube! As again, always thank you for your subscriptions. Give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, thank you for our Patreon supporters. And if you want to help us do more videos like this or higher quality videos, definitely go on to Patreon and help us out there. Even $5 helps us out. Um, so what we have here, well, we have a rainbow. And why would you spend $2,000 on a vacuum? Well, if it's not a central vacuum, I'm not sure it's justified. But um, this is a very, very high quality machine. And if you could get a deal on one or find one of these used, I would absolutely recommend it. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about what a rainbow is. Um, so a rainbow is not necessarily a pride machine. It's not a rainbow. It's made by Rexair and they call it rainbow. Um, This one. I just did that off.
I started off drawing people. Oh, it's taking off now.